Associated Press has declared Democrat Kwasi Mfume the winner of the special general election in the 7th Congressional District. He's heading back to Congress and for the first time in Maryland's history, the election was done almost entirely with mail-in ballots. WMAR 2 News' Megan Knight is live outside Mfume's campaign headquarters in downtown Baltimore with what he had to say about getting his old job back. Megan? And Ashley, yeah, Kwasi Mfume says he's very excited. He's also very humbled by all the support he received. And while he cannot replace the late Congressman Elijah Cummings, who he considered a close friend, he says that he will certainly carry on his work here in the 7th District. Now, there are still ballots that do need to be counted, including those that were done in person at voting centers yesterday. But the numbers released by the State Board of Elections last night of the mail-in ballots that came in before Monday show Mfume with a very large lead against his Republican opponent. Kim Klasik. So the AP has gone ahead and declared him the winner of the race. He'll be finishing out Cummings' term through January 3rd. Now, Mfume actually held this job before Cummings had it, then left in 1996 to become the head of the NAACP. He says much of his initial focus will be on the response to the coronavirus pandemic. I want all of you to know that from day one, all of my attention, all of my energy, and all of my focus in the United States Congress will be on using science, data, and common sense to help get our nation through this dark hour in our history. And in a tweet sent out last night, Republican Kim Klasik said that she is going to wait for the final results to come in, but went on to say, quote, the one time when hard work did not pay off, perhaps one day District 7 will want change. Now, this is not going to be the last time that you see Mfume or Klasik on the ballot. Both are running in the June 2nd general primary, along with several other candidates in the 7th district race to seek the full two-term uh, office for the position. The primary will be done in a very similar fashion to the way that we saw with this special election, from where most of the ballots are going to be cast by putting them in the mail. We're live in downtown Baltimore, Megan Knight, WMAR 2 News.